Hey everyone, it's Desiree and I am here with Spellbinders and let's just have some fun and play around with their recently released Slimline Collection die set. So there are, and I'm looking at my notes here, there's about eight to nine elements to this collection and they are all, as always, wonderful. The collection I have here that we will be working with is called the Moroccan Kaleidoscope Slimline. Now, one of the things that I absolutely love when it comes to, um, when it comes to this die set is the versatility of it. So not only are you getting the outline, which will cut your back panel, um, for your slimline, um, and that actually will measure about three and a quarter by, and yes, I'm measuring it now as we speak, uh, three and a quarter by about uh, eight and one eighth, or just over eight inches. When I like to do my slimline cards, I like to make them the card base eight and a half by three and a half when folded. So, and nine out of 10, yes, it's usually a top folding as always. Um, so you have this panel that's already cut out, so you get this beautiful border already set up. You get this wonderful background, and then you get accent pieces, like the florals that you see here, and in this case, also the tiles. Now, these tiles for the Moroccan set actually layer, so you get these beautiful effects as you layer these items together. So I went with... Um, kind of like a different type of palette. So I'm actually playing around with Spellbinders cardstock um, Recently relay at least it's a hundred pound. It is wonderful. It is a great Thickness and it is beautiful to work with and it has just some wonderful colors um, When it comes out when it comes to this line. So my very background behind my panel there is Glacier I'm using timber for that panel the Moroccan panel in the top. And then I'm also pulling out Portobello, which is like a light craft, pink sand, barely peach, rainforest, waterfall, teal topaz, and their copper mirror cardstock. So I've set my tiles up looking three different ways. And then I've also done a lot of die cutting from some of the florals. And this is just one of the floral types that are in this set. There are a total of one, two, three, four florals and three leaves and a branch. So I'm kind of creating a cherry blossom look. I just use those flowers and I'm just layering them. I'm not breaking the, the paper fibers. I'm just laying them, layering them on top of each other and I filled in onto those branches and I'm adding some pretty pink posh gems in ivory on top of them because this card just needed a lot of gems. When I think of Moroccan style, I see glitter, I see gems, I see sparkle, I see metal. Um, I just see all of those wonderful textures that are coming through. And that's pretty much what I was going for here. I'm going to glue my panel. I'm using my art glitter glue to glue this down in place. And I'm just going to worry about the large areas and, of course, the border around the outside of this. It does, because of the way the dies are set, it does, of course, fit perfectly. Now, remember, it fits perfectly. I put mine on crooked. Uh, you know, it happens. Easy fix. I just come in with my scissors. Um, and just cut along the side. I make sure my scissor is angled so that I don't have a chance of cutting into the panel itself, the brown. Once that's in place, I'm now going to set my medallions. And I did each one differently. So I cut the same color. Now the colors here are the waterfall, teal, toes, teal topaz, and the copper uh, mirror. And I just, from each of the card stocks, I cut each of the medallions for the layer. So then I was able to mix and match those layers so that I had a little bit of difference 
a little bit of contrast going across the front of the card. I also cut a section of that background panel, the Moroccan panel, um, with the copper card, uh, mirror cardstock. And I just did a section of it. I didn't do the, the whole panel. So I'm just going to fill in, and I did save some of the brown ones as well, in case I wanted to put those in the place as, you know, also. But I didn't want to. I really wanted this copper to come out and just come through. I'm just playing with the placement of those, and then I will make sure that I will glue them in place. So this is a, uh, a die inlay that um, I'm creating here. And of course, I've got to dig in with my, <laughs> with my tool of one because it actually got stuck in there. Uh, and there was no glue. So I'm just going to lift each of these up, put a little bit of glue down, and then set those in place. <clears throat> Excuse me. I will be propping those medallions up. I want this card. I love dimension. I love dimension. I love... Um, pieces to come off of my card to extend off of it. Um, sometimes I'll cut those pieces that come off, but I really don't like to. Um, I just love the look that it gives as it's hanging off. So that's another reason why I, I get a lot of questions, you know, what size envelope do you use and or do I make my own? envelopes because I do tend to make cards odd sizes you know yes there's a five by seven but you know I love you know creating a five and a half by five and a half or maybe a seven and a half by a seven and a half and if you don't have you know the packets with the envelopes that match you know you kind of have to have you know, the ability to make your own envelopes. I do, when I make those strange sizes, I do make my own envelopes. Um, I use the Lindsay, the frugal crafter way. It's an awesome way that she showed us. Um, but I also will buy larger envelopes. So for like my standard A2 size, my, um, instead of getting an A2 size envelope, because I put so much dimension, I'll go one more on top of that. So I believe they're four and three quarters by um, six and a half. So I've got plenty of room for that envelope to expand, which is awesome. Okay, back to the card. I'm rambling here again. So as you can see, I propped up those medallions. Here are my gems. Um, now I put my gems um, on my flowers like we saw before. I brought them back in because I wanted three just beautiful large gems right in the center of each of these medallions. Now, because they are layered, you wanna make sure that you get some glue right along the edge, that top edge, so that your gem has something to cling to. I'm going to hear this panel on top of my three and a half by eight and a half card base for my slim line. And you can see this gives a beautiful border. Um, so I allowed that white to just really emphasize those colors. So now I'm going to play with the placement of these beautiful flower clusters. Um, so I went with a very pale peach. That's pink sand. Um, okay, pale peach would be barely peach. And then a light pink would be pink sand. And I'm just playing those. Again, creating each one is going to have a cluster. I do like to work in odd numbers. I feel that it's more appealing to my eye. Um, so I've got the three medallions, and I'm going to have the five clusters. Um, but there also has to be a balance. So I've got two clusters on the right, two clusters on the left, and one in the center. So, you know, while I say that, I still have to have that, you know, equilibrium that's going on there. Yeah? When it comes to uh, my slim lines. I do the same thing with my envelopes. I actually get envelopes um, that are just over four inches um, by, um, and I believe it is nine and a half. So four by nine and a half. A lot of people do make their slim lines to be four by nine. Um, I like making them three and a half by eight and a half because for my eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper, I can get the card base for my slimline 
and the piece that's left over, the four inches by eight and a half, I can create a four by four card base. And I like making four by four cards, um, little tiny note cards just to, and plus I turn those into tags. I'm a, I'm a big person here. I like big things, big tassels, big cards, big tags, you know, why not? Let's, let's have fun with what we're creating and show off the art that we all create. Um, so nobody say you don't create art. You do. Um, we all create it. We take, again, this here are by the dies that Spellbinders has created. Again, I'm using the cardstock. I'm taking cardstock and turning it into this. That's art. That is absolutely art. Um, so it's a wonderful thing. So keep trying, you know, um, keep practicing with it. Die cutting is a great way. I know I got a little on the back of this, but that's okay. You know, we'll just rub it off with an eraser. Um, you know, using your dies is a great way. Maybe you're not comfortable coloring, but your cardstock can color for you. You don't have to use solid cardstock. This would be beautiful with a beautiful pattern paper in the back of that Moroccan um, panel there. So again, you know, don't limit yourself to what you see. Get yourself out of the box and say, hmm, I wonder what it would look like if I did this. Um, so that is what our card looks like. And here I'm going to bring in, these are the envelopes that I have. I get them off of Amazon. Um, I love the craft color. I don't worry about colors for my cards. I do have the ability, you know, for them, um, but it's not something that stresses me out. Um, I don't focus in on the envelope. I know you should. I mean, you can have all kinds of fun with it, but I focus more on the card. So as always, I hope you enjoyed the project that we did today. And if you want to check out the entire Slimline collection, I will have it linked down below in the video description, along with a link to their blog for more inspiration. Um, and of course, their shop so that you can shop around. They're always having some great specials um, and some great uh, sales going on. So make sure you check that out. They are affiliate links. I always like to be transparent. So that means if you click on that link and make a purchase, I do get a small commission. Um, when you make that person, uh, purchase at no extra expense to you. Um, so if you do that, I say, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Enjoy your day, smile, laugh, giggle. It does help as we continue through our journey and we're almost there, um, which is wonderful. But remember what is most important for me, always be creative till next time, guys, take care.